hello everyone again and welcome to my channel in here we'll be looking at the photochemical 2 plus 2 circular addition reaction this is quite different from the regular thermal circular addition reactions which actually is with respect to the 4 plus 2 circular addition now this is quite different because in here instead of we using or actually subjecting our compounds to heat in here we're going to be looking at how we can subject our compound to light and uh, light which is a crucial element i must say in actually activating one particular compound in our four way to be able to perform various circular addition reaction now this rule switches such that all the circular additions that are not allowed thermally are actually allowed photochemically now this works by converting one of our atoms into the excited state by a photochemical process now let's take for example we have our ground state where we look at our specific alkene and now what we have is this pi star where we look at the lumo state compared to that of the pi which is the homo state now what we realize is that normally we have the lowest part to be occupied so this is our homo and that is our lumo however once you subject this particular compound over here to UV light which is a specific amount of photon what we get as a result is the excitation of one of our electron into the higher energy which is the former lumo so where our molecular orbital combinations are the same which is it doesn't matter if i shade down bottom as long as it's still out of phase and comparing that to that which is also the same thing Let's see this bottom and bottom here. What we have is the excitation of one of these electrons over here to the excited state. So that's about it for this particular part over here. Now then the combination excited state of one alkane with ground state to another alkane by mixing the two pi orbital mixed two MOs is actually looking at one of these molecules where it's actually excited combining this with another molecule which is in just in its ground state so by doing that we can be able to actually generate our two plus two cycle addition reaction and this is actually shown in here so in one case where we have our excited state of one arcane alkene sorry so what we have is a pi star it doesn't matter how i do it as long as it is out of phase on the other side we have this which is a homo however once you excite this what you have is this up and this down over there now if you combine this with the ground state of another one or of the other alkane alkane sorry what we have is the same combination in terms of the molecular orbitals Where these are pi and these are pi star. However, we still have a regular case where they are all paired in this lowest energy level state. Now, the combination of both particular compounds will lead to two molecular orbitals that are actually pi stars.
and two molecular orbitals that are pi. Now, if you're filling the electron over here in this particular combination, what we have is you have this, you have that, but instead of actually pairing this, this is actually subjected to photon, what we have is the excitation of one electron into the next molecular orbital. So that is about it for the molecular orbital of both compounds when you've excited it already to generate this particular part over here. So an example of this is looking at a particular compound which is this now once you subject this or uh, once this interacts with a compound like this over here which is a regular alkene uh, once you subject this particular uh, compound to a photon of light this particular pi bond actually split into respective electrons where one electron is occupied here and the other electron is occupied over there and what you get is one and one over there now when this is actually placed in this particular compound what we get is the overlap of orbitals or electrons over here where we have one of this electron pairing with this electron and while this other electron pairs with this electron. So take note that I didn't actually do a double edged or double headed arrow. I just used a single headed arrow over there. So what we get as a result is the formation of our product which is this which is a four minimal ring so this reaction is stereo specific within each compound and this has no endo rules and the least hindered transition state is usually results in this particular process over there so those are the key things you need to know in terms of photochemical to plus to cycle additions We'll look at specific examples on our next videos and thanks for watching and following me through this. Truly appreciate it. Hit the like, share and subscribe and let me hear your thoughts about this and I hope you understand it. Have a good day. Peace, love you all and be smart.